Hey, what's going on everybody? Got a real quick one for you today. So Apple has just released a kind of very minor update to the updates that they just released like literally a week ago. So we now have Big Sur 11.5.1. So 11.5 just came out, but now we have dot one. And usually dot one, when that happens, it's something that they missed or something that came up after they had the update uh, ready to go. So as you can see, it is 2.2 gigs, which is still a pretty good chunk, but all it says is provides important security updates and is recommended for all users. Now, if we actually go to Apple's security updates website on their support page, we can see right here, Big Sur 11.5.1, and there was also iOS 14.7.1, as well as a version of iPadOS released today. So both of these releases fix the exact same bug. So here is the bug. It's called the IO mobile frame buffer. So basically what was happening is an application was able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. And it says that Apple is aware that this issue may have been actively exploited. So basically what that means is it was being actively exploited and you need to update as soon as possible. And then of course it tells us how they actually fix it. So a memory corruption issue was addressed to improve memory handling. And guys, that's it. That's Big Sur 11.5.1. On iOS, like I said, it's the exact same security update, but there was one other thing with iOS which had to do with the uh, Apple Watch bug, which if you use your phone to unlock your watch, that was not working properly if you had a Touch ID enabled device. But yeah, guys, just a little minor update here. You need to go ahead and update these as soon as possible because when a bug is actively exploited, it's never a good sign. So yeah, that is Big Sur 11.5.1. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.